Hi, welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I am so excited to be here with you today. I am doing my last show of the year and I had to pop on to show you how to make homemade eggnog. <laughs> the very first thing you're going to need, of course, is going to be eggs and you want to get a good high quality egg if you can. You're going to need real vanilla, no imitation vanilla, real vanilla and real nutmeg. I have one here that I'm going to grade, but you can buy the one that's already powdered salt, milk, and whipping cream, and sugar. Now, of course, you're going to need a thermometer, a candy thermometer, and a whisk, and a strainer, and that's it. The very first thing you're going to do is crack your three eggs and put them in a bowl, and then I have an additional one egg yolk. The next thing you wanna do is get a medium-sized pot and put two cups of whole milk. And we're going to put this on a very low flame. I have it on low here and we're going to bring it right to under a simmer. You need to add an eighth teaspoon of salt to stir it quickly. And we're setting that aside. We're letting it go and we're back over here. Okay, so here are the eggs and we're going to put a fourth cup of sugar plus one tablespoon. Now, this isn't going to be a very, very sweet eggnog but you can add another tablespoon if you want it a little sweeter but I thought it was perfect so I'm going to whisk this very well meanwhile I'm going to wait for the milk to come to right under a simmer about 130 degrees so I'll be back okay so it is warm now I am going to temper the eggs you're going to put a little bit in at a time and keep whisking really fast because we don't we want the eggs to combine with this warm milk Keep mixing, and then all we're going to do is put it back in the pan on low, and we're gonna bring it to 160 to 165, and we're gonna check with the thermometer on very low for three to five minutes. I'll be right back. Meanwhile, for the three to five minutes, you're gonna wanna keep stirring and make sure you're scraping the bottom. Okay, and I've got my thermometer in there, and we're gonna want it to come to 160 to 165. So I've got it very, very low. Meanwhile, I'm going to grate my nutmeg. I have fresh organic nutmeg here from Williams Sonoma, and it smells so good, and it's super fresh, but you don't have to do this. You can just buy the one in the little jar and you need about up to half of a teaspoon. So I need to have this ready so when that milk mixture is ready. So I should have about right under half a teaspoon. Okay, let's check the milk. It's at 160 and we're going to pour it over a strainer immediately into another bowl and See, I caught that stuff in there. You'll want a strainer so you'll have a smooth eggnog. And then the next thing we're going to do is put that wonderful grated nutmeg in. We're gonna stir that. And then we're putting two teaspoons of real vanilla. One, two, and I've got Nielsen Massey here, which is a top brand. Let me show you if you choose one, this is excellent. And so all you're going to do here is stir this up and then I'm gonna put a plastic wrap over the top and we're gonna put it in the fridge for one and a half to three hours and that's it. It's been three hours. I took the eggnog out of the refrigerator. Now it's time to do the last step, which is a fourth cup, a heaping fourth cup of heavy cream. We're going to mix this just till it's nice and frothy and a little thick, but not too thick. So I'll be back to show you the consistency. This is the consistency you want. Smooth and creamy, not too stiff. Okay, here it is out of the refrigerator. Now I'm going to take the cellophane wrap off the top and there it is, this beautiful, 
beautiful eggnog. The last thing we were doing is put this beautiful whipped cream in and then I'm going to stir it in, get all of this lovely cream. It's gonna make it nice and rich and thick. Okay, now I'm going to whisk this in and keep whisking it till it's all combined and smooth and creamy. And I'm gonna pour it into the pitcher and then pour a cup. It's done and it's smooth and I'm going to pour it into the pitcher now. Okay. I'm stirring it around one more time before I pour it into the cups. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to see this. Here it goes. The finale, the beautiful, thick, luxurious. Ooh, I don't know how full to put it. I'm going to do that full. And then I'm going to pour it in this one too. And we are going to enjoy this. I want to let you know that I actually like the eggnog warm so you can warm it if you want but you don't have to i'm going to go ahead and put a garnish on top you don't have to do this but you can put some whipped cream on top and then you can sprinkle it ooh, or put some more freshly grated wonderful organic nutmeg yummy and let me put some over here. Let's see if I could do this. It's so big. Let me see if I can do this. It's moving around. And I'm going to do some nutmeg on there too. You can also put cinnamon too if you want. But this nutmeg is so wonderful. And there you have your wonderful eggnog. And I'm going to take a sip. Here it is. I'm about to try it. <laughs> it is so good. I'm going to take another sip. I want to thank everyone that has viewed Maria's Kitchen. I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for all the beautiful comments. I read all of them. Thank you for your likes and your thumbs up and for your subscribing to Maria's Kitchen. I'm so thankful from the bottom of my heart. And I want to let you know, if you are even thinking about supporting and funding or giving a donation to Maria's Kitchen, I am greatly appreciative. If you want to do that, there'll be a link below in the description area. But nevertheless, it will help Maria for 2022 to come back on with more shows for you. So I will be right back with the scripture of the day. You may have noticed that I am wearing this crown and I want to leave you with the scripture in Psalms 103 that he daily loads us up with benefits, heals all our diseases and crowns us with his loving kindness and tender mercies. So you know what? You put that crown on and you remember what God says to you. You are crowned with his loving kindness and tender mercies. And happy 2022 and cheers 